Hello everyone and welcome back to Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. So today we are back at it with Old Carter again. So this is the Old Carter Bourbon Batch 10. Um, this is non-age stated. Comes in at 116.8 proof like the Batch 9 did. Um, again, very, very excited to get into this one. Um, again, I'm always, always very excited to try anything from Old Carter, guys. So without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, so as I said, this is Old Carter uh, Bourbon Batch 10. Uh, this one also comes in at 116.8 proof. It is a high rye bourbon. And I think there was uh, 1,969 bottles released um, of this batch. So um, let's go ahead and get into the nose. Ooh. So very, very different from um, the batch 9. A little bit lighter, not as uh, not as dense on the nose. Oh, getting some some chocolate on the nose, some baking spices, some like paprika. There's some fruitiness in there too. Yeah, there's definitely some uh, some some ripe fruits in there. Maybe a little bit of strawberry on the nose. Not getting a lot of oakiness on the nose on this one. Yeah, very very different from the batch nine. It's lighter. Some paprika definitely on on the nose there. A very very mild floral note on there as well. Again, that's something I don't I don't pick up too often. Definitely some chocolate, a lot of chocolate influence on there. A little, yeah, it's like an herbal, like an herbal floral um, type of uh, note on there. Definitely very, very different from batch nine. All right, guys, get into the palate. Cheers. Woo. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. So, again, high rye definitely comes into play on this one. Uh, I think this one actually drinks a little bit hotter than 116 proof. Um, batch 9 was 116 proof as well, and this one drinks a little bit hotter. This one has more viscosity to it. Um, you know, that initial burst of, uh, of spice definitely makes your mouth water. Um, but you can definitely feel the viscosity um, on, on the inside of the palate um, on this one. A lot of different flavors going on. There's there's definitely a, a nice chocolate influence on the palate from the middle to the back of the palate on this one. You get that spiciness. I don't I don't pick up any paprika, but there's definitely some some cinnamon in there, the coriander. You get some uh, some pepper notes that kind of go back into the back into the finish. This is a medium to long finish on this one. Way, way different than batch nine. Um, this is this is really good. Let's go to second sip, guys. Huh. So, so second sip, um, that that initial burst um, of, of spices kind of died down a little bit. But on the front of the palate, it's weird. On the front of the palate, it's like um, there's some like sugary notes, like a um, like a uh, almost like a, a brown sugar, but then like with dark fruits kind of mixed into it, like a, like a fig, um, like wrapped like in, you know dipped in like brown sugar on the front of the palate. Middle palate, there is there is actually a little bit of oakiness um, on this one and into the middle of the palate. There's definitely a chocolate influence, though, from the middle of the palate into the back. Chocolate covers it. And then into the finish, um, there's like butterscotch, which um, I love. I absolutely love um, a bourbon with some butterscotch notes in there. Again, dark fruits and brown sugar. Very, very sweet on the front. There's some oak in the middle. There's some pepper in the back. Milk chocolate from the middle of the palate into the back. Some butterscotch through the finish. 
medium to long finish kind of lingers on a little bit viscosity is definitely there on this one this is uh this is a hell of a, a bourbon right here this is really really good let's get the last sip guys cheers Man. Ooh, there's some leather in there too in the back. Yeah, so again on the front of the palate, um, you get a lot of those dark fruits dipped in like a brown sugar. Middle of the palate is you you get some of that sweet oak, then that's where that 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 chocolate note starts into the back. Some cinnamon, some coriander into the back. You look at a like a pepper, just a little bit of pepper, not not very very. Uh, it's not very dominant. Um, the butterscotch definitely lingers on um, into the finish. And then there's like there's like a little bit of leather, and that may be coming with some of that um that oaky influence that, that goes from the middle to the back of the palate. This one, um, this bourbon batch 10 is is very, very, very complex. Um, I think they did a fantastic job with this one. This is something um, it, you know, if you're gonna go out and buy uh if you're gonna go out and buy an, an old Carter bourbon, this bourbon batch ten is is up here. Um, this this is a this is a next level bourbon right here. Um, again, this is something that I really want um, in my bourbons. I want something that's you know that 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 gives you that burn, um, that's complex, that's dense, that's deep. Um, you know that 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 finish that kind of lingers on and just you know all those different flavors from the from the the, the fruitiness into the uh, the oakiness, the darkness with those those oaky tannins, the the baking spices, the coriander, the the, the cinnamon, the butterscotch on the finish is absolutely fantastic. Um, very very high praise for uh, this old Carter Bourbon Batch Ten. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. And again, I want to send a big thank you to Mark and Sherry Carter for supplying me with the sample to review on the channel. Uh, Mark and Sherry, amazing job. Um, with this bourbon batch 10, this is, uh, this is a next level bourbon for me. Um, super complex viscosity. It's dense. It's, it's deep. Um, again, it's something where you can really pull out, uh, a lot of the flavors. This is something I would love to sit, um, you know, outside in the fall with, um, by, by a fire, um, just sipping along with friends. Um, very, very, com very complex bourbon here. Um, and again, you know, the, the, the proof on it, it definitely drinks a little hotter than 116.8 proof, and that's because of that that uh, that high rye um, that's in there. It's it's not the proof that's going to give you that that burn on this one. Again, it's not that high of a proof. Um, stellar job here um, with this this bourbon batch ten. And guys, so if you're looking for more reviews like this, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams. You can also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dance Whiskey Reviews. And until next time, guys, stay dusty.